All right, let's ask an expert about this one. Here with some remedies that really work is nutritionist Lola Berry. Good to have you here on the show. Thanks for having me. So festive looking. I love it. Yes, <laughs> I love to dress up. Any excuse. Yeah. Especially when we're talking about something as down as hangovers. Not Absolutely. fun, right? Absolutely. Yeah, fun. but we can do simple things okay. to prevent them and to counteract them the next day. Okay, some of them are wives' tales. Some of them are things you really say work. And the first set of, of products that we're going to have over here, you have two things here. We're going to talk about dandelion, also artichoke and milk thistle, right? Correct. So these things are like garden weeds, really. Uh -huh. And what they do is they stimulate the liver. Now, the liver is kind of like the garbage man of our entire body. So when right. you have a few drinks and feel a bit worse for the next day, it's your liver having a bit of a hard time uh -huh. getting rid of all that, all those toxins. Uh -huh. So. Milk this helps flush it out or something? Yeah, yeah. it stimulates okay. bile secretion, so it stimulates the liver detoxifying your body. Wow, and it doesn't make you even more sick to have, take no. any of this afterwards, right? No, one of my <laughs> tricks is I'll go out, have a few drinks to mm -hmm. celebrate or whatnot, and, and <laughs> before I go to bed, I'll just take a St. Mary's thistle or milk uh -huh. thistle, it's the same thing, take it in a tablet form before I go to bed, wake up the next day fine. Okay, good, so you take it before you go to bed. That's and you can take it before you go out as well if you want, like, double protection. If you just know, right? All right, yeah. now, where, how does the lemon give us protection as far as hangovers are concerned? Okay, well, what lemon does, it actually works on the liver as well. It stimulates the bile secretion as well, so it works on detoxifying. Okay. But there's this crazy old folk remedy, right? And they say you cut a lemon in half uh -huh. and you rub it under your armpits the what? next day. Because we've got, this is where, you, you know, you sweat. You've yeah. got your sweat glands. You can actually absorb stuff from there as well. So, do you want me to show you? Oh, no. okay, honey, if you want to put lemon <laughs> under your underarms, you go ahead. <laughs> so you just kind of do that the next day. <laughs> You can drink it, but I wouldn't drink it you after doing that. You guys just didn't know. Lola was drunk before she got here. Yeah. She's fine now. Okay. All right. Now we're going to come over here to the, the green tea. What is this? What does this do? Okay. Green tea is a real winner. What it does is it stimulates this pathway in the liver called the glutathione pathway. Mm -hmm. That's one of our massive detoxification pathways. Okay. Really cool thing about green tea as well, it's just an... Mm -hmm. is it speeds our metabolism up, so it's even linked to weight loss. So we know yeah. alcohol's got a lot of calories and kilojoules. Right. Doing that, like having green tea in your diet, you know, regularly, right. is a real winner. Gets gotcha. Okay, yeah. we have the almonds here too, but I know you specifically say 10 raw almonds, right? Correct. That's, you know when you're drinking and people often just drink and don't really eat? Mm -hmm. If you can get 10 raw almonds, and I've whacked some walnuts in there as well, as long as it's a raw nut right. uh, in there, it's really high in B vitamins. Now, yeah. B vitamins, what they do is they feed our brain. So when you're stressed out or you're doing a million and one things, right. your B vitamins need to get replenished. As well as that, it's in charge of energy for our body. So okay. we need to get the B vitamins in there, but definitely go raw nuts if you can. Okay, before we go, I have to ask you about this one too. You say a shot of radish juice yeah. or just plain radish. It's going to burn like garlic, but it'll work. <laughs> Absolutely. What it does is, you know how I was saying that green tea works on the glutathione pathway? Yes. Radish works on a sulfation pathway. Mm -hmm. So it's another real key player when it comes to detoxifying liver. When it comes to hangovers, guys, it's all about the liver. And then, of course, the water, definitely. Important, You've right? got to rehydrate. So I work in kilograms in Australia, but you guys work in pounds, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need about a litre. ounces, however much you want to say. Just yeah. Lots and lots of water. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like a litre of water for every, I think, 50 pounds okay. you weigh per day. That's okay. heaps. Really? Yeah, so. And then don't forget the lemons. Yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Under, under the arms. arms. <laughs> Lola, thank you so much. Thanks so much. You're a lot of fun.